Hey guys, welcome back <laughs> to another YouTube video. Um, Roblox scripting uh, tutorial. Well, this time it's basically just an explanation and an example of how filtering enabled works. So that's what I'm going to explain to you guys before part three of the money system tutorial because I've tried to record it like uh, so many times before. But before I could even do that, I realized that I had to show you what filtering enabled uh, how it works in order for you guys to understand because I want you guys to understand while watching my videos not just copy it down so yeah before that I'm gonna show you how filtering enabled works in order to prepare you for the next video soon um, I know it's been only like what two days since I last uploaded it's not no, no, no big deal anyways filtering enabled so Filter enabled is basically a big old trump wall between the client, aka the player, and the server, aka what the game is running off of. So, um, to turn it on, it's basically in workspace. Uh, you go, you select workspace, and then you go to properties, and check filtering enabled. So, when filtering enabled is enabled, for example, an explorator cannot make a change onto the game, such as changing the color of a base plate. Um, I will show you an example right before I end this video of what I'm talking about. So if the exploiter tried to like make a change in the game, it will not be replicated onto the other server and other players. Meaning that like if the exploiter, for example, changes the base plate to a color like blue or something or whatever, only they would be able to see that change and nobody else could so basically it really doesn't make much of a difference so that's what it kind of prevents exploiting oh, sorry so yeah only the exploiter would be able to see their change um so and the only way a player could make a change in the game is if they ask permission from the server if they get permission then they can make a change. So this is done by using remote events and remote functions. A remote event or function can be scripted to do something such as changing the amount of cash or color of this base plate, for example. So the way a player officially gets permission to change something in the game is to call a remote event or invoke a remote function. This is like asking permission to the server to make a change. So I'm going to show you an example right now. Um, I'll make an example of a button in your starter GUI that will change the color of this to pink or something like that. So I'm going to put a screen GUI inside starter GUI. I'm going to call it a color changer. <laughs> Why not? Um, and then let's put a text button. And I don't know. You guys want? I'll put it in the middle. Put it like right here. And I'm gonna put a script in it. Mm. So uh, where is it? Local script actually. There it is. So. Everything on the client side has to be a local script because your computer is local and the server is um, a computer being ran in Roblox HQ, I suppose. <laughs> um, so yeah. So this button, I'm going to script it normally to change the color of the space plate. So I'm going to do workspace, um, no, script.parent dot mouse button one down clone connect you could copy this and try it for yourself if you guys want to but this is just an example of what I'm talking about of like this big old wall that prevents the player from making a change in the game without permission so yeah so if the player clicks the button then I'm gonna change the workspace the base plate color uh, dot break color equals dot new 
uh, bright blue. So this button should change the color of this base plate to blue. Now this is the way to do it without filtering enabled. So if filtering enabled was off, a hacker could insert a button like this and make a change into the game. Uh, sorry, if you get, yeah, just ignore that, not those notifications. So let me start a server right now and test it out. Oh my God. All right. So say that I'm an exploiter and I inject a GUI that'll change the color of this base plate. I click it, the color is blue. Oh my gosh, you just destroyed the game. But in reality, this is the server, this is what everybody is gonna see besides you. You only made a change on your side, on your network. So <laughs> exploiting on a filtering enabled game is won't make much of an effect except for yourself. So this is basically what everybody sees. This is what the exploiter will see. So everybody else won't see a difference. So say you actually have a button that you want to change the color of the base plate. Like say it's part of the game and you want it to do it. So to do that, we're gonna add a script into workspace or anywhere else. Um, I'm gonna put it in workspace workspace or um, server script service but in this video I'm just gonna put it in workspace it really doesn't matter it's no big deal um, uh, I'm gonna call it a color script okay and then in the workspace we're also gonna put a remote event where is it remote event oh my god sorry guys Remote, where's the R's? Oh, okay, there it is. Oh my gosh. So let's call this color changer. So in this script, we're actually gonna make it that if the client, or also known as the player, if the player um, clicks this button, this script is going to ask the server for permission to change the color of this base plate to blue. So, or any color that they, that is set in the script. So this script is going to check if the player asks the server for permission, which is basically like saying if the player called this remote event or fired it. So we're going to put workspace dot color changer, which is this remote event dot on server connect uh, PLR inside these. Wait, no function then PLR. It should look like this. Um, and then Okay, sorry guys, I paused the video. I, I lost where I left off at. So what we're doing here is that on, this is basically a function. When the player fires this event, the color changer event right here, the remote event, then we're going to change the color of the work of the base plate. Workspace dot base plate dot brick color dot um equals brick color the new and then inside these parentheses we're gonna put a new parameter called color so what what this does is that whatever the player sets in here is going to send it to the script and it should send the color of uh bright blue so i'll show you right now what i mean so inside these uh, parentheses, we're going to put color. 
and then inside in the local script that is inside the GUI and text button, we're going to remove this. And then we're going to add a line that, that fires this event right here. So workspace dot color changer colon fire server. This fires it and runs whatever you scripted in here in this in the function, the on server event function. So inside the parentheses, everything after player is what you should put in the parentheses. So in the parentheses, I'm going to put the color. So bright blue. So when I fire it, this is sort of like a variable, but it's set in here when it's fired. So the color is bright blue. And now when it's fired, this color should be quote unquote bright blue or whatever I said in here. So this should be bright blue right here. So it's going to change the brick color to bright blue. So now let's start a server. Um, yeah, a remote event is basically, uh, I don't want to say permission. I think it is like a permission or like a VIP pass to actually make a change into the game. I don't know. My explanations are awful, but I hope you understand it anyways. So we click this button. The local script fires this event right here, and it does whatever the script told it to do when it's fired. So let's click it. And it made the base plate blue. Now let's, ch let's check the actual server. And it did make an official change onto the server. So that means everybody will see this change. So that's what filtering enabled does. It's a big old firewall um, or something like that that will not allow the player to change anything in the game uh, without permission or a pass. And that pass would be a remote event that you set in your game that does whatever you made it do or whatever you scripted into it. Um, so unless you have, unless you scripted something, um, then yeah, <laughs> my explanations are awful. Oh my God. So um, unless you get permission from the game, unless the client gets permission from the game to make a change, then it'll make an official change onto the server as well. So I will leave a Wikipedia link about filtering enabled and game security in the description below for a more fuller explanation, more technical, if you want to find out more. Um, and thank you for watching. Share this video with your friends if you think it'll help them. And like the video if it helped you. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part three of Money System Tutorial. I'll try to give my best explanation. Um, and thank you for watching and thank you for bearing with my terrible explanations on filtering enabled. So yeah, share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and leave suggestions in the comments below of the types of videos I should do. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.